You know, we trot out the term well-rounded in modern-day mixed martial arts, maybe more than we should, but this guy fits the bill. Maybe doesn't stand out in any one area on film, but plus skills everywhere. And you gotta think tonight, Joe, with his skill set, he's more than comfortable really anywhere this fight goes. If he needs to stand and strike, he can do it. If the fight hits the canvas, he can submit you. A lot of different skills brought to the table by this young man. This guy is very well-rounded. He literally has no weaknesses in his game. He is technical in all areas of mixed martial arts. All right, talented fighter making the walk here tonight. I will be surprised, Joe, if we see him put on his back at any point tonight. Incredible takedown defense, great balance, very solid base, an outstanding sprawl that's very quick and athletic. And for a lot of fighters, they waste a lot of energy trying to bring this man down. Got to think the smart approach will be to see if you can get the shot early, but if it doesn't materialize, go to plan B. This guy's takedown defense north of 90%. Some of the best takedown artists in the world have failed to take him down. This guy has outstanding takedown defense. His sprawl, his timing, and his ability to get up are amongst the best in the world. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So a more than five year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, with some differences in height and a similar reach. All right, now for the official introductions, the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a Muay Thai kickboxer and jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of nine wins, no losses. He stands six feet, one inch tall, weighing in at 245 pounds. Fighting out of Chicago, Illinois, Boy. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer and jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of eight wins, five losses. He stands 65 inches tall, weighing in at 252 pounds. Fighting out of Glendale, Arizona, USA, the problem. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Mario Yamasaki. Mario Yamasaki, third man in the go, octagon on, for this ready? one. Just misses with the jab. Opens with the left hand and lands flush. Oh, one, two. Well, it took him a little bit of time to find his timing, find the range. He has found it now. He continues to connect with a series of strikes. Landed that left hook. He got tagged there. And he lands a nice kick. He avoids the clinch. Oh, nice. Oh, he landed a near-perfect knee strike there. Good defense there. Caught him with a punch. Well, that kick landed the body beautifully placed right underneath that elbow. Let's see if he makes the adjustments now defensively to avoid opening up that midsection to further damage by that kick. And a nice jab. Lands a hard kick. Under three minutes now to go in what has been a very fast-paced opening round here. once again. Nice. And from here, transitions to the Muay Thai clinch. At long last, some separation here. That one hurt. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Tags him.
is a huge hook to the head. The next there with the punch. Shoots in for the takedown. Both fighters back to their feet now. And he eats a right hand there. He is really finding his range with that uppercut. Out of range with that one. Look for him to set up that uppercut. So we cross the 30-second mark in our opening round. Nice shot. The kick gets through. Round one winding down here. Nice body kick there. Round two straight ahead. Stop, stop, stop. Catch your breath. Breathe. Listen, you can do this now. I want you to go down and put your combination straight down the middle. I need more of that. I want Here's a vicious kick that results in a knockdown. Let's take a look at that again. Brittany Palmer doing her thing as usual. Second round underway. Now starting off this round, he might still be hurt. He's gonna wanna look to be defensive and move and avoid getting hit and try to recover. Front kick to the body. Blitz the guard, connects with the punch there, Joe. Oh, big roundhouse attempt, just misses. That could have been lights out. Well, Dutch strike team. Oh! Wow! He's in big, big trouble here. Oh! Back to the feet. Nice. Big He's body shot. shot. Body. Body kick, look at that. Battling for hooks. Oh. oh! He's definitely rocked. Wow! Wow! <laughs> That's it! It's all wow. wow! Wow! What a knockout! Excellent timing here. Big left hand for the victory. Yeah, that was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there, Joe. Landed flush, and I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him, but for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. Let's see that from another angle. Check it out here. Boom! And he's out. So there he is after a monumental knockout turned in here tonight. That is one they will be talking about for quite some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Yamasaki's call to stop to this contest at one minute, 49 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout so there he is, the man of the moment. Certainly maximized the showcase here tonight, Joey. Gets a big win by way of the knockout. Certainly kept the judges out of it here tonight. Perhaps some bonus money is coming his way, but there will be no wiping the smile off of his face tonight. He will party deep into the night with his friends, his family. A huge knockout turned in by that man here tonight. And he has set himself up for a huge fight now, moving forward inside the octagon.